Voila, voila, voila. Let's see what we have here. Dawn's time sphere. What are you doing, Sherlock? <sighs> Joy Dawn. Well, I'm pursuing a new lead to identify the mystery cicada. Well, if you needed information about the time sphere, you could have just asked. Well, that's right. One memory can be deceiving, especially for a regular human. No, I prefer a primary source. And this new lead, were you pursuing it last night, too? That's right. And all last weekend? That's right. I'm working very hard to get... to get what I want. Patient, right? Master of science, but also a master of subterfuge. Because not only am I Eobard Thorn, but I'm also. Dr. Harrison Wells. And that man, that man would keep his secrets close. What have we here? Well, well, well. Bonjour. Good evening, Dr. Wells. Bonjour, Gideon. I believe I have something that belongs right here. Video log, entry 247. I have long struggled with time's insistence on change. One variable changes the timeline. Our memories are changed, too, without any knowledge of time's other possibilities, but not anymore. Where is going with this? body is made up of DNA, so too is the multiverse made up of its own unique source code, mm. one that cannot be altered no matter what timeline you're in until now because I have cracked that code. Mm. And so the timeline may be malleable, but my knowledge will be intractable. Get the unfreeze video log. Capture the clear board. Run against handwriting sample number two. The Journal of Nora West Allen. Analysis complete. Handwriting match for Harrison Wells confirmed. Will that be all, Dr. Wells? Yes, Gideon. That will be all. <laughs> <laughs> 